Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Taking Together. As always, the goal of this channel is to provide education about and to raise awareness as to what it's like living with Tourette Syndrome. Today, let's talk echographia. You're probably wondering, what the heck is echographia, Carly? Well, I'm gonna tell you guys in this video a little bit about echographia and what it is in patients with Tourette syndrome. Before we start, I'm just gonna back it up. My name is Carly, I'm 22 years old, and I was diagnosed with Tourette syndrome when I was 12. So it has been quite a journey of tics and figuring out how to navigate the world of Tourette syndrome. For those of you new here and don't know what Tourette syndrome is, it is a neurological disorder, so that means it affects the brain and it causes individuals like me to make involuntary movements and sounds known as tics. So this stuff you're seeing are tics and they're involuntary and I can't control them. So now you're all caught up. So what is echographia? Echographia is a very complex tick that isn't very much talked about in the Tourette syndrome community. Quite honestly, I didn't really know it was actually a thing until quite recently, so I wanted to make this video to educate you guys to let you know that this is actually a thing that exists and that it can be debilitating just like any other kind of tick. So echographia is the involuntary repetition of things in your environment in the form of writing or typing. So this could be writing another person's words, typing lyrics to a song, tracing words with your fingers to a conversation that you're having, or basically just echoing words or phrases that you hear in your daily lives in the form of writing or typing. It's basically copying down words or phrases without really understanding them and without really meaning them. So as I said, echographia is very complex. It involves multiple muscle parts because you're literally writing out things. And it is part of the echo phenomenon of tics. So the echo phenomenon is basically just automatic involuntary repetitions of other people's words or gestures. So this is the written form of that. And quite honestly, I didn't know that I dealt with echographia, but I do. I'll give you some examples. So when I am having a conversation with an individual, and lots of the time I'm not gonna be having a piece of paper with me or a thing to type on, I will literally, on my side with my finger, trace out in cursive writing what the conversation is saying. So the other person's words, if they say something that sticks out to me, I will trace it with my finger. So for example, if they say the word rock and I really like it, I'll go rock. And I'll do it at my side or whenever and it can be very distracting honestly when i have a piece of paper in front of me and i'm writing for example in school sometimes i may hear a word that's like "Ooh, this is a good word and i'll write it repeatedly on my paper so they're not my words and they're not the words that i'm thinking it is just another person's word that i'm repeating in the form of writing tracing or typing it's like the echo that i talked about an echo is not yours <laughs> It is coming back at you, it's someone else's. And so it's just involuntary like all tics, but you're basically copying something without meaning to or without fully understanding it. One of my most common forms of this echographia tic is typing a few things repetitively. So I often will type in my group chats with my friends in all capitals, baby shark do 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 because it is in my head and like of course I don't mean to send that to my group chat like that is very bizarre but I heard it once and all of a sudden I have to type it in this chat and that is a form of echographia because it is not my words and it is not what I want to say I'm not meaning it I'm not understanding it it just comes out and I type it and it is a tick so I wanted to make you guys aware that echographia is a thing because it's less talked about in the world of Tourette syndrome and it can be extremely debilitating. For example, in school or at work when you have someone talking to you and you're constantly writing the same word over and over again, for example, or writing down your conversation instead of writing down your actual solid work, that's gonna be a huge interruption. 
and it makes it harder to write things down, harder to type things. It makes it slower because you have to go back and delete stuff or erase stuff. And it's literally just copying things without really intending to. It's totally involuntary. Like when I have to type baby shark, my brain is like not really there. It's just typing baby shark and it sends and uh, I'm sorry to my friends that have to deal with that because my group chat, lots of the time, it'll just be me, baby shark, do, 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 which is also one of my vocal tics, which is kind of transformed into echographia. So there are very fine lines between the different tics and how they can kind of interchange with each other. So that's very important to note too. Echolalia, which is the verbal form of this, can also transform into echographia and vice versa. Echoskepsy, which is the mental form of this, can also transform into echographia and echolalia and vice versa. Really, there are so many different types of tics that can be like interchanged and mangled around. And so it's important to note that the world of tics is very complex. And people with Tourette's syndrome deal with a lot of different kinds of tics. And something I wanted to make clear just in the end of this video is that everyone with Tourette's syndrome is different. Not everyone is going to have the same tics, not everyone is going to have the same triggers. Every single case is different. For example, I have this neck tic you're seeing and another person with Tourette's syndrome might not have that at all. So yeah. Echopraxia, however, may make someone with Tourette's syndrome do what I'm doing because it's the involuntary repetition of another person's actions. So the echo phenomenon, as I said, is very strange because it's just repeating other people's things involuntarily. So yeah, it's important to note that the spectrum of tics and Tourette's syndrome is huge and everyone is different. So you may meet someone with Tourette's syndrome and not even know it because everyone has different levels of severity and different levels of tics. So just be kind to everyone because you never know everyone is fighting a battle that you know nothing about so just be kind even now like i'm sitting here and i'm tracing things with my finger underneath my camera so you can't see it but it's very common for me um i'll often be trying to go to sleep at night and have these words that i have to write with my fingers or any other body part just tracing them on my pillow or under my pillow or on my bed like even on my desk when i'm sitting during school like it can be genuinely disruptive. And so echographia is something that I wanted to bring awareness to. There's also other graphia phenomenons that I'm gonna talk about in further videos. So if you'd like to stay tuned to educational videos, as well as life stories about my Tourette syndrome journey, I would be absolutely so appreciative if you would subscribe to my channel because the goal of this channel here is to break the stigma surrounding Tourette syndrome and to let you guys know the real raw truth about it because everyone is different with it not everyone is the same so i'm telling you guys my story and providing the best education and awareness that i can if you learned anything in this video i would love it if you would give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below saying hi telling me what you want to see in future videos or letting me know if you experience echographia or any other of the echo phenomena ticks that i talked about thank you guys so much for watching and have a great night as always we're learning together we're laughing together and we're taking together bye